Hello and welcome, I am Matt Taylor and this is my variety channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to schedule a live YouTube event in conjunction with using OBS Studio. I love OBS Studio and I use it for all of my live streams and I just like being able to switch between angles, between the camera angle and then what's on my desktop and uh, just the flexibility that, that it has. And it just brings your live streams up to the next level. And I have a video where I did this in the past, but YouTube, the interface has since changed in YouTube Studio, so you need to do it a little bit differently. And all the screens are different than what they show on my older video. I've had people in the past comment on the old video and say, hey, wait, my screen doesn't look like that. So this is an updated version of that previous video. Let's get started. Okay, here we are over on my channel. And now to schedule a live stream event, you wanna go into studio, or you can just come up here, you can click on this, create, and go, go live, or just come in here, you might already be in studio, just click on studio. So a couple different ways that you can do it. And then you can go right here to create, or you can go right here to go live. So either one, create or go live. And when you click on that, it'll take you to this screen right here. So we want to schedule a stream. So what we'll do is we'll just come up here to schedule stream. And it might bring up, it'll, if you haven't done it before, you probably won't have anything down here. This is bringing up my last stream that I did on this particular channel. It was quite a while ago. I'm just gonna do create new, just so you'll, most likely this is what you'll see. And then I'm going to do a little title title here. I'm just going to call it test live stream. And then you can add a description. And then you'll pick the date that you want it to happen. I'm just going to do it today. And I will pick at 2.30 p.m. Uh, a little bit and then you can enable monetization if you're able to and then you can upload a custom thumbnail for it if you have one you can do a custom thumbnail so just click on that and just upload um, none of these are going to be I'm not going to use any of these but let's say I wanted to use this for some reason I could do it um, as the thumbnail make sure to set it if it's for kids or not and you can also go down here to age restriction and do that if you want to. Okay. And then just click on get stream. And then it'll bring up this, which is the main stream panel or stream view. And there's more settings that you can set in here if you want. I always have enable DVR, so that will create a video of it once we're done. But the main thing what we need to do here is we need to get the stream key. And you don't want people to see that stream key because then they could take over your account and stream with your account. Um, and if you have very if you have a low connection for your internet, then you would probably want to pick low latency or ultra low latency. I have decent internet. I have like 40 meg um, internet, which is um, usually pretty good. I'm gonna copy this stream key. So copy that. And then I'm going to take this over a little bit just so you can see what OBS will look like. And then you have your OBS Studio. I'm going to assume that you already have OBS Studio installed. So I'm gonna open that up. And I stream quite a bit on my cooking channel. So these are settings that are already there. So I'm not gonna go through the settings on how to set up a camera, but basically you can see my face here. I'm looking over and right now I'm looking at the camera and there I am. You can see me right there. That's my, you know, this angle. And then I have this transition, which is gonna just show the desktop. So there we go. and. And so it's really nice to have two monitors when, when you are live streaming, just to switch back and forth on things. 
Otherwise, they're just going to see this camera version of you on the screen, which is fine if that's what you want to do. All right. So what we need to do is we need to come in and get settings and go to stream. And this is where you're going to paste in that stream key that we just copied from YouTube. OK, I had a different stream key in there from before. Make sure you pick YouTube, YouTube Gaming. There's different ones that you can pick, but just pick YouTube, YouTube Gaming. And make sure that your server is primary YouTube ingest server and not the backup. So hit OK. All right, so it hit the 230 mark. We're supposed to be streaming. And so what I'll do is hit Start Streaming over here, right there. Start streaming. That is going to send the signal over here. And usually I click this about three minutes before I want the stream to start. And then there it is. You can see my face on there. And there is a little bit of a lag, so don't worry. And then when you're ready to go, it'll tell you your connection down here. When you're ready to go, hit go live. And a lot of times I will begin with like a some kind of a thumbnail right here and then I will just transition over to me this face and then I will talk to my viewers. So hello everyone, I am Matt Taylor and this is a, my variety channel. Welcome to this test live stream. I'm not sure if anybody is going to join um, while we're here testing, but uh, maybe we'll get a few people to join while I am live. Um, I don't have a ton of subscribers on here. If we were on my cooking channel already, we would have people <laughs> um, jumping on to say hello. But so we are streaming right here, and then you can talk down here um, with your viewers. You know, stream. If you have super chat enabled, then they, you know, users can click on that and support you uh, monetarily. And um, so, you know, their name will get highlighted and show how much they donated. And you can capture some top moments if you want from there. And this is going to talk about, I don't really look at these, I don't use these too much. The stream markers and the highlight video stuff. Um, if you want to share the stream before you start streaming, if you want to share it, come up here. Copy video link. So you, this is your stream sharing link. So copy that, and then on a browser or whatever, that'll show the streaming. You can see that the monetization is working, and this will show that view. Copy video link. So you, this is your stream sharing link. So copy that, and then on a browser or whatever, that'll show the streaming. You're welcome. See? I'll close that out. And we'll, we're back to this uh, view again. And so that is pretty much how you go live. And uh, if you look down here, it shows that there was one viewer, and that was myself, <laughs> that clicked in to view. And so you can just talk with the people that join your chat. Much Like I said, I don't think anyone's going to join. And once they join, you can just stream away, and then you could switch back and forth on OBS Studio, back and forth between screens if you want to show what you're talking about. All right, so that is how you go live, and you schedule a live event. You can schedule it for a few minutes, like five minutes, or you can schedule it like a, a day away or a week away and give your subscribers time to, to get on board with the stream and to... If, if they have if they're notified then they'll hear about it and then when you are done streaming what you will do look someone joined right when I was about ready to, to be done um, someone joined um, hello the kid with a tie uh, welcome to this is just a live stream test so I'm just doing a little uh, tutorial video for my channel to show people how to go live 
or how to schedule a live stream event in conjunction on YouTube in conjunction with OBS Studio. So I won't be on here long, but welcome. And so that was really cool that someone joined while I was in the middle of this tutorial. So you can see um, see that kind of happen live. And then when you're done streaming, um, <laughs> sometimes my streams on my cooking channel go way well over an hour. Um, what you'll do is you'll come up here and end your stream. The stream will meet, stop immediately and you'll no longer be live in the stream. And then come down here to OBS Studio and just hit stop streaming. And once you do that, you once you do that, you can close out OBS Studio. And it's gonna save your your setup from when you last use it, used it. More people are joining. <laughs> Um, even though I am done with the stream. So there we go. And then what you can do is once you are done streaming, you can go to edit in studio. Now it'll take you back to studio and you can edit the video if you need to, or like you can go here to details and edit your details again if you want. Um, you can change the title. Like maybe you talked about some things that are different than what you wanted the title to be. You can change it there and add more things to, to the description if you want to, you know, maybe some keywords, things like that. You can come down here and add it to a playlist. Like I can just do the test playlist. Um, and then you can change these things if you want. If you want to add some tags, test live stream, OBS Studio. You know, whatever you want to add the tags to be for SEO purposes. I'm not going to go into it too much. And then you could also add end screens to the video if you want. I'm going to just save that. You can add the end screen, your end screen to your live stream. And sometimes if it's a live, a really long live stream, it is going to take um, quite a while for it to finish encoding. So save that for my end screen. Maybe I want to add some cards. Um, one of my past videos or something like that. Another card. You get the idea. You're going to be familiar. You're probably familiar with all of this stuff already. And because it's just like a normal edit, uploading a normal video to YouTube from here on out. And there we go. When you go to your content, you won't see your live stream here. These are all video uploads that I, you know, a normal video uploads, but you'll see your live streams right here underneath live. Okay. And here is that live stream test that we just did right here. And then you can go back in and edit it further if you need to from this field, content live right here. And that is pretty much it. And then if we head back over to your channel, front end, and click on videos, you can see the live stream here and people can click on that after the fact and watch it if they want. Got five views, awesome. <laughs> Well, there you have it. That is how you schedule a live stream event with YouTube in conjunction with OBS Studio. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Also give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Until next time, I am Matt Taylor and this is my variety channel. Make sure to check out my main channel, my cooking channel, if you're into cooking and baking and things like that. Take care, everyone.